Sky on YouTube, it's your boy Curtis 7. Manchester United have defeated Inter Milan nil nil, but we went through on penalties thanks to the brilliance of Darren Fletcher's winning penalty. Now, nah, but in all seriousness, guys, it was a pre season friendly. Not that you would think it was a friendly, judging by Louis Van Hal's reaction with that 10 minutes to go. Mate cleverly went in for a tackle, perfectly timed, got the ball, and referee said it was a foul. And Louis Van Hal went off his rocket. Mate, I thought he was going to knock the guy one. But anyways, mate, it's good to see Louis Van Hal passionate. Even though it's just a pre-season friendly, my God, just the passion, the determination, something we did not see from you-know-who all of last season. And great to see Louis Van Hal just getting fired up. I love seeing that as a United fan. Anyways, as the game goes, guys, it was uh, it was a nil-nil, but it was a really good nil-nil. Entertaining, really fast-paced, uh, great link-up play between Danny Wilbeck, uh, Wayne Rooney, and one Mata. There was one particular play with all three of them, and uh, including Antonio Valencia, just one touch passing. Brilliant bit of play, and uh, in the end, one match I couldn't finish it, but I tell you what, it would have been a goal of the season contender. It looked brilliant. So, really happy in the first half. Darren Fletcher and Ando Herrera, they were pretty solid in the midfield. I was liking what they were doing, but uh, at the back, Johnny Evans, um, uh, Phil Jones and Chris Smalling, solid as you would like, uh, but they weren't really tested, so you couldn't really, you know, you couldn't really see too much into that. But in saying that, guys, it was a game of two halves. I think it was about roughly seven changes at halftime. Uh, we got Zaha, Kagawa, and Nani playing up front. Oh, by the way, that first half, Ashley Young was really good as well. He stayed on for the second half, but up front for the second half, guys, we had Kagawa, Nani, and Zaha, and in the midfield, we had Cleverly and Fletcher. And uh, yeah, it was really good to see. There's a lot of talk this week about uh, Zaha, that you know his attitude's all wrong, that his head's not in the right place. But judging by this game, lads, he was in there to impress. Honestly, he looked like a man on a mission. Um, I said this before, he was just taking on defenders, putting in good crosses, and you know what? You know, even though he didn't score or didn't get an assist, he was really impressive. And he almost got the winner at the end. But, um, you know, he created chances, as did uh, Kagawa. He was a bit limited, but I tell you what, Nani. Mate, Lewis Nani, I love him. I really want him to stay at United. I was so happy he signed that five-year deal last year. But I tell you what, he is just not the same player he was about three or four years ago. He has changed dramatically. He can't even get past the vendors no more. And mate, passing gives the way so gives the ball away way too much for someone, you know, who is that was one thing that Nani was always good at. He could take on defenders and he could keep the ball. Now he just gives it away for fun. And uh, even though he came on at half time, Louis Van Hal took him off about with about 15 minutes to go. So it's not looking good for Nani. I think he's going to be shipped out before the uh, end of the transfer window, which is a shame. But in saying that, guys, there's players there to impress, and Ashley Young was one of those. Um, I tell you, Tyler Blackett in defence, he looked really good. Uh, Phil Jones um, was solid at the back. Uh, Michael Keane was another player that really impressed me as well. Now, there's been a lot of talk about this week about Luke Shaw not being fit as well, being dropped for this game. What a load of nonsense. Apparently, he wanted to go on his own training regime, and he consulted Louis Van Hal, and Louis Van Hal said, yeah, if you want to get extra fit, no worries. But, you know, the media's just gone onto this and totally just, it's been out of whack, and he looked really impressive in the second half you know that's what he's good at and we need win back especially in this 3-5-2 formation even though in the second half it was more of a 5-2-3 at the front but uh, you know wing backs is what we need and Ashley Young defended really well but uh, in saying all this guys you know very impressive great to see Nemanja Vidic back even though he's barely been gone two seconds but sad to see him in there in top of Guernsey and yeah very fitting that this went to a penalty shootout and Darren Fletcher wearing the captain's armband for United slotted home the winner and we got the victory we grabbed all two points yes two points don't ask me why two points it's just the way the Americans work this out but yeah great game in the end only a preseason friendly but hey you know it's looking good and we play Real Madrid in a couple of days time so that's gonna be good as well Cristiano Ronaldo can't wait to see that. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Make sure you stay tuned here for my channel to get the review against the Real Madrid game. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace.